You gotta take the landscape photo for it. You gotta use technology. We're welcoming back Wrath and Min Min who had earlier appearances on today's stream. Yeah, start yeah. things off between these two at an FD. Now, Fro, Vance, this is crazy. Yeah. Because this would be realistically in anybody's mindset, grand finals. True. Yeah. Min Min's yeah. made a high profile of uh, the character while online. Um, definitely been. Uh, like realistically, this would be Jake, Jake Wrath, Jake Min Main, Wrath Min Main, Min Main Jake. Like you would, you name it. Those three names that we could just drop would be top, top four, Vance, man. But this is see, winners' quarters. Vance, did you just see that Min Main pulled off like a triple knockback move there just a, a little while ago? And the other, like when the positions were reversed, that was <laughs> wild. Because we saw Min Main uh, use the stacking hitboxes to full effect it earlier on in bracket and. Uh, Clearly, it's not a one-time thing for the mid main. Mid -main yeah, main, get that wrong every time. <laughs> when we look at yeah, and when we look at mid main too as a whole, like it's we talked about how projectiles are so good against characters like Sonic, right? Stop the movement! Wow, what a coverage there with that. Well, what's what do we? Oh, man, why am megawatt. I forgetting? Megawatt yeah, Nair. Nair. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. I try to call him appropriately, like Megawatt Nair, because I know it's like Nair, but it's not really Nair. It's Bear, but it's like special because it's B. It's like, oh god, just call it Megawatt Nair for all intents and purposes here. <laughs> all right, let's see if Ran or Raph can start uh, trying to make a comeback happen here. The thing about Min Min Two and Sonic is like the matchup feels it, on, on textbook. Like if I would look at the paper. It would seem even, right? Just because Min Min does have the arms and plays the distance game, but the problem is you have startup frames and end lag, and yep. Sonic can just meet you anywhere within that frame data mindset just by raw movement alone. But when if Min Min is able to effectively cover each each of those arms, well, like when we saw Megawatt Nair, then that would give Sonic a little bit of a difficult time here. So we'll see, man. I, I want to say this is this is definitely the first time I've seen the matchup. Part of the, the the thing that makes it difficult for Min Min is that um, Min Min's playing by throwing hitboxes to a certain point, it's like a, a predictive or defensive element. Whereas Wrath is trying to usually close a space, whether that is um, closing distance from afar very quickly or getting in between the extended arms into that noodly area where there can be some blocking. But oh, speaking of blocking. Raft getting the edge guard there using the spring jump. Yeah. Now taking a lead after um, falling behind early in this match. And I want to iterate that on what you said, Phil, because that's so true, right? Raft is able to move basically between that space of each yeah. arm if and much more effectively. Important. Yeah. Oh, but that was so rough on Min Min on the recovery because if we talked, I've said it before oh. and time and time again, that oh. up B, that up B for Min Min, it's not as long as you think. It's not that graceful as a tether compared to Joker or even Byleth. I gotta say, Wrath has gotten fortunate a couple of times so far in this game. One that Min Main hasn't had the best positioning possible. Because he's been playing with a little bit of fire off stage with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Min Main just wasn't like close enough to ledge to throw out a hitbox below it. Oh, the rising megawatt there just stopping Wrath in his tracks. And Wrath firing right back, looking for this fair to connect. Not gonna get it. Uh, it's hit even... by the down air. And oh. Even sometimes when you get in between, if you, if you have just enough end lag, and, and Sonic has some situations where the character has enough end lag, Min Min can respond. But right yeah. now, this is no, don't go Min for Main. this low recovery. Don't go for this low recovery, uh, Min Min. Uh, uh. I, honestly, Wrath had the mid level recovery covered too by the fair initially. So that was just horrendous for Min Min. Like there was very little coming back from that one. Yeah, look, like that little, like we talked about, that tether, it's not that graceful. I think that's what kind of keeps Min Min balanced. The tether yes. recovery isn't as good as you think it would be, right? If anything, arguably in terms of distance and connection, it is the worst tether. Oh, and you have right, to remember Min -Min. that. <laughs> and Min Min's like, you know what? I want to run this one right back. Can I just say one thing about Final Destination, though? Um, it, it it's usually this problem really only persists because of the nature of streaming and some of the copyright issues with music mm -hmm. but man i really want to make it standardized that fd has to be a stage with uh, a slightly more visible background but especially yeah. if you play a character with a red skin some of the transitions in the back are just horrendous visual oh I, definitely I, I i actually argue to people sometimes going to final destination battlefield is 
just a much better pick just because there's less going on in the background. I know games like Tekken have this problem, and some players opt to go to infinite stages or a right. stage that doesn't have, that has less going on just because you want that, you know, time. I still admit, the best version of Final Destination, in my opinion, was the Ooh. one that we got in Smash 4, where it looked like a Soul Calibur stage, coincidentally, but we'll see, man. I think, I think <laughs> it's a fine FD, if you ask me. Man, you know what's a fine uh, destination if your wrath is connected with the F Smash, where you just did a couple moments ago, take that first stop. Yeah. Sometimes, I mean, we were talking about wrath needing to stick and move to get into a good spot to take advantage. But sometimes Min Min will make a mistake and fall right in the best spot possible at that. Yeah, Smash 4's FD definitely did blind people for two seconds, but I'm talking about the look of the stage, man. It was still pretty clean. I'm surprised Min Min survived that. Oh. All right, early up E there. I think for Min Main, Min Main is doing as best as possible to try to keep Sonic in that distance. But when I look at the arm swings, you have to really be careful because you kind of want to time those. See, like setting out both arms just to have the hitbox effectively be out there longer, so to speak, it's good in hindsight, but you need to time that arm. Why? Because if Sonic is able to dodge the first arm, you can cover that with the second arm. It is effectively like you're a boxer. If you can force oh. your opponent to move away from one hit, can you cover that second hit? And Min Min can do that, but that grab on the startup, man, not that great. It's usually yeah, good for reading opponents. It almost seemed like Raph saw an iframe. He did not, but it seemed like it. <laughs> like the game was going to bless him with extra iframes as he managed to definitely avoid the grab and connect to the back air here. Oh, but Min Min right now might have actually taken the jump. Oh, no! Raph manages to get past Min Min's attempts to keep him off stage. Ah, Min Min really needed that one. Okay, finally getting some breathing space between Raph, Mega Wall Arm to Dragon Arm. Looking for that recovery. I talked about swinging both arms, man. You can't just keep swinging the hands. You gotta time your hands. Oh, this is rough. Okay, okay. A lot of like how Raph is so successful here today is matchup knowledge. He's starting That's it. to really That's pick it. at. He's picked at the timings for when the slim window to get past the one two is. Managed to make Min Min's ledge trap, uh, Min Min's ledge trapping game almost completely useless.